How does Spider-Man stick to the walls if he's wearing a suit? This is actually a really good question. So everybody knows that one of Spider-Man's core powers is the ability to climb and stick to any surface. Just like a spider can climb up a wall, he can completely scale and climb up any sort of surface. And in Spider-Man 1, we kind of get to see a physical interpretation of how he can do it with the little spikes coming out of his hands and we can assume they come out of his feet. But in that same scene, he's wearing shoes. And in the video I posted yesterday, I described how there's shoes kind of built into the Spider-Man suit. So if we're going off of the logic of the little spikes in his hand, how can that work if he's wearing a glove like this? Unless there are hundreds of tiny holes in the glove, which we know they're not. Well, there's actually a scientific explanation as to how Spider-Man can stick to any surface. And it's kind of weird. He has the ability to enhance the inner atomic attraction force between surfaces. And that increases the coefficient surface friction between himself and that surface. So if anyone understood that, you know what that means. If you don't understand that like me, essentially what that means is it's a magnet. So Spider-Man himself is a magnet to the wall. Think about when you have two magnets and you put them together and then when you pull them apart, they still have a little bit of tension between them that is holding them together, even if they're not physically touching. That's kind of how Spider-Man's powers work, in more of a spider sense mental state that conjures in a physical sense. So it's not the physical action of him having sticky hands or little claws in his hands, but instead it's more of the atoms and the mass of him magnetizing onto the mass of whatever surface area that he is attaching to. That's how he's able to stick to walls through his glove and even through suits like the Iron Spider suit. Because if you really think about it, he shouldn't be able to do that. But if you go with this explanation of the magnetized structure, it works a little better. It's still really confusing to me as well, but this makes a lot more sense than the sticky hands or the claws. I hope that answered somebody's question because that answered mine.